Okay, when I go out on Ursula, uh, I don't always know where I'm going. Um, sometimes I don't care. I just drive a loop and get back wherever I came from, and I'm happy with that. But if I am going somewhere where I want to know where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going, and I need a GPS, uh, I, I got this RAM mount to put my phone up here. This is a HTC M19 running Android, which I like. And uh, I got this little doohickey here. Comes with three pieces, uh, a mount that grips onto the bar. I think it, I think it goes up to an inch, inch and an eighth, something like that. Clamps on a connector um, that connects to the head of this thing that actually holds the phone and then the head itself. This funky spring-loaded thing. I was really worried that this was not going to to hold the phone, but it does extremely well. I, I noticed some of the newer ones. Like I got one for my son, it came with this weird funky plastic thing that snaps over it as a, a backup, I guess. But I, I've not needed it. Uh, it. It really holds on. My phone has ridden at least a couple of hundred miles there. And you know, I can, can bring the GPS up. And it will sit here and talk to me, which you really can't hear in the helmet. Uh, yeah, I don't want to upgrade right now. Maybe later. But uh, I, I get my GPS up here and I can follow whatever I need to do. Uh, another little cool app that I found is uh, Get Your Speed, and it's available in full app uh, or this little digital heads up window thing. It's called DigiHud, D I G I H U D, if you want to look for it in the store. And you see this comes up, it, it locks onto the GPS, but it, it hovers up there on top of your applications. So I can come in here and open up my GPS if I'm driving down the road, whatever I might want to be doing, and I can hover this uh, on top of it, and it'll give me my speed while I'm actually out riding which if you have used a Ural speedometer is not a bad thing to have. The Ural speedometer is kind of a suggestion of you're going somewhere in the vicinity of where the needle's flapping back and forth. Uh, they don't have the most high-tech speedometers on there. My speedometer, it turns out, is actually fairly accurate. Um, <laughs> Accuracy is relative. Um, it bounces, when I'm doing 55, it bounces just above the 55 indicator. Um, I was actually driving, uh, or excuse me, just below it. I was actually pushing it too hard, driving too fast. A friend told me that, hey, you, know, you were doing 60, 63 miles per hour out there. This bike's top speed is 65, so I'm pretty impressed. Um, so I slowed it down a little bit, and I, I got this and confirmed the speed that I'm actually riding at transposed it to the speedometer so now I can look at the speedometer and know about how fast I'm going. There's one sure thing you are most likely, very probably, unless you're going downhill with a tailwind doing less than 65 miles an hour. But uh, this, this lets me know how fast I'm going and it just hovers up in the corner wherever I want to put it down at the bottom while the GPS is running and I can see where I'm going and this thing really holds on well. It's uh, a RAN mount. I got it off Amazon. Uh, wasn't too terribly expensive and uh, it, it does a great job and I, I try to remember to put my phone here anyway when I ride uh, even when the screen is blank uh, if someone sends me a text message it does not display the text message do not text and motorcycle or drive or anything for that matter but it does flash up and let me know that I have received a text message so I know there's one there and if I'm expecting something or if someone places a phone call, I'll see it. If I'm expecting a call or a text or whatever, I can pull off at the next uh, place and check my messages uh, and know fairly quickly that I did get a message. So that's the, the RAM mount X-Grip. Uh, it's solid. Uh, I, I've been down dirt roads and the highway, of course, uh, bouncing around. It's not even offered to come loose. The phone's always where I leave it. It holds much, much better than I expected. But uh, if you're looking for one, you know, check that out. Might do what you need it to do. Um, I'm happy with it. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, 
leave a comment, let me know.